Dad burned all Mom's things right after her funeral. I tried to save something, but he pushed me away. I'm freeing up space for the love of my life, he snapped. That night, he brought Chris home to stay. He moved the six-month-old twins into my room and turned the nursery into Chris's dressing room. My life became hell. I skipped school to watch the babies. My only joy was playing the cello. It made me feel mom's presence. She taught me. But then dad forbade me to play. From now on, you have to work, loafer. I washed cars, but dad took my money and bought a gift for Chris. On the anniversary of mom's death, dad hosted a wedding. I cried, clutching mom's photo while the after party rocked the house. Suddenly, I realized the kids weren't around. I asked dad. He shocked me. He'd locked them in a shed so they wouldn't disturb the guests. I was just in time. The tots were freezing and crying with hunger. We spent that night in the shed. Dad didn't let us back in the house. Next day, he and Chris went away on their honeymoon, leaving me alone with two babies. The little ones were ill, but I learned to manage. Then suddenly, I found this in the house. When Dad and Chris came back, I charged at him in tears. Mom's death is on your hands, I yelled. I found a report about Mom's car dated a day before the crash. Dad knew the brakes didn't work, and he didn't tell Mom. She'd found out about his affair. Mom was driving to him, crying, and she crashed. Dad didn't even deny it. He laughed. I was busy with Chris. He called mom a naive fool. He said I couldn't prove anything. But it was too late. Thousands of people heard his confession. I was going to play cello and had already started my live stream. Dad was arrested that day. Chris packed up and vanished. Social services wanted to take me and the twins, but my aunt said no. My mom's sister took custody of us. Now we live in our house and I take care of the little ones. They call me mom now. I never saw dad again. He was convicted for causing the crash. Conceiving a baby doesn't make you a parent. Agreed?